previously on Triple Mag. So glad the girls each got one last week and now I was able to come back and get one this week and I've got such a good season ahead of us and oh, it's just so exciting and so fun. This is finally the icing on the cake so we'll be back next month for rifle and hope there's another big beauty like this and rest in peace dude. Thank you for a great hunt. I'm going to sleep good tonight. Ah. This week we're in Nebraska hunting giant whitetails and mule deer. From the cool morning air waking me up to the sun sinking low at dusk. Somewhere in the middle an adrenaline rush with that big buck steps out of the brush and we pass it on down through the family. From grandpa to daddy and on to me. Chase and burn feather it don't matter what the weather they taught me everything I know, now I'm ready to go Got my 300 short Mag and Matthews bow Looking for a rack with 12 inch G2s Can't wait to say Rest in peace, dude Here we go, we just got in the car. We are headed to Nebraska. We'll be driving all night tonight until I can't drive anymore. And then we'll be getting up very early in the morning and driving all day tomorrow. And we should get there sometime tomorrow evening. We're headed to a new property we've never hunted before. It's a new lease for us. We scouted it out this summer and we saw a huge buck. I mean, it was from a distance, but it was a huge buck. Hopefully we will have some huge trophies to bring back for us. to go and we will finally be there. It's been a really long ride. I still have to do homework though. But at least we're in Nebraska. Okay, Mom. I am doing common nouns and proper nouns. In a sentence, I underline the common noun and circle the proper noun. I live in the greenhouse on Elm Street. Greenhouse. Common. Elm Street. Proper. Correct? Yep. Where is my yellow shirt? Jenny asked her mother. Mom, Jenny, both proper nouns. Yellow shirt, common. <laughs> yes, that's very good. Well, here we are in Nebraska. We just got in last night and we came out here to shoot our guns, make sure that they're still on after the long trip. I'm pretty excited because the guys have been seeing some big bucks. They got here a few days before us and where you're going, they said they saw some big one with some stickers and so yeah, I'm excited. Pumped. Yeah, tomorrow's the opening day. We're just gonna take today and get a few things done, do a little scouting and see what we see and um, be all ready for tomorrow morning. I'm excited, let's go shoot.
way out to where we're going to be hunting tomorrow. Uh, we have our spots all picked out, but on the way out here, look what we came across. Holy man, there's trails all through here. There's scrapes. This leads around to where we are going to be hunting. On the river. Yeah, I'm like getting really excited now. This is whatever made this is giant they're going to be walking right over to the river where we're going to be tomorrow morning and i hope first day we're going to pop one the rut is just just kind of starting to kick in they're just starting to to chase so yeah, i'm excited let's go This is how we get our shine on. That's how I get my shine on. Get your shine on. Show us how you get your shine on. For more details, visit us on Facebook or go to shineattire.com. For almost 20 years, Blackwater Hunting Services has been providing quality hunts at affordable prices. For more information, visit us at blackwaterhunting.com. First morning, we're headed out, so excited. Can't wait to get out there. And hopefully we have a big one down soon, before noon. Heck yeah. Let's go. It's November 12th, opening morning here in Nebraska season. Mad Dog's too young to hunt here for deer. We do have our two turkey tags. We're hopefully gonna try to find a flock of turkeys on. We're heading back into the river, and Maddie has a rattling horn. She's been practicing at home, and we're hoping she can rattle me a buck up, and then we go get a turkey yep. or two. We're sitting here on the uh, river bottom. There's lots of trails, there's rubs, there's acorns for food, and, and we've been seeing a lot of action down here, so hopefully we'll get, get something this morning.
This segment is brought to you by Keitlinger Motors. Triple Mag is brought to you by these fine sponsors.
taking him? He didn't kick. I felt like, I felt really good on him. Powderhorn Hunting Preserve provides the hunting experience of a lifetime. Located in the heart of the beautiful Allegheny Mountains of Pennsylvania. We have been hunting these mountains for generations and we want to share the unparalleled scenery and excitement with you, the serious hunter. Powderhorn provides you with a guaranteed, heart-pounding, successful hunt. Each hunt is guided by an experienced and knowledgeable staff member of the preserve whose sole purpose is to help you create the hunt of a lifetime. Best right of way clearing contractor in the business. Contact Koga Right Away Clearing. This segment is brought to you by XS Iron. I want to, I want Then I get him. Mad Dog came to help me recover my deer. You gonna help me find my deer? All right, let's go. Here's where I shot him. Let's go look for blood right there. He was standing right here, so I'm assuming his tracks are right here. I see marks in the leaves down here. I think he's down through this way. Let's go, man. Oh, look at this here, right? Yeah, I think he's down here. Are you okay, Manny? <laughs> he's gotta be down here somewhere. This is thick, isn't it? Mom, there's blood. Yep. Blood. See any blood, Manny? You have a good blood eye. That's some. Okay, climb up over here, man. Oh. Well, it looks like he might have laid down, so that's not really a great sign, but we're gonna keep going. Hopefully he's up here a little ways. Don't have to let him go much longer.
guys, I got him. I got him. Oh my goodness. He's tall. Wow. We rattled again. And sat here for a while and then out of nowhere, I just saw horns pop up. We started to get a little bit nervous. So I took him straight forward. That was awesome. I think I dropped him, didn't I? Dang. Say that was a good morning. Holy crap. He's got some good mass. He almost touches in the front. I'm so pumped. That was awesome. We've just seen action nonstop all day. And I'll tell you what, Nebraska is my new favorite spot. This is awesome. <sighs> Rest in peace, you. I just texted my mom to tell her that I got one. I'm really excited to show her mine and go see hers, too. That's awesome. Woohoo! Well, Alyssa made her way over to me to help me go recover my deer. She just got hers. Awesome buck. And now we're going to head through here and see if hopefully mine's laying right over this hill. Go, go. Oh my gosh, I finally found him. Whew. Look at that. I, we have been looking for this guy for hours. I didn't make a great shot on him. I shot him a little far back and he went a long ways and we've been looking for him all down in the river bottom. We thought, I thought for sure that he went down in the river and died, but we found where he had laid down a few times. I went and got Mad Dog. She's a good little blood tracker. And we found the blood. We followed him a long ways. We found where he crossed the river up on the other side and he bedded down a few times so we knew that wasn't a good sign. Finally kind of getting discouraged was gonna maybe head out and I come up over this hill and here he was. And thank you, thank you for letting me find him. He's not a monster, but one, two, three, four, five, nine points and he's got an old white face and he's a good buck and I'm just so thankful that I found him. I just was not gonna be able to leave him out here. So, oh, thank you for letting me find him. Oh, thank you. Oh, I'm so happy we found him. Thank you. Oh, there he is. He's not bad at all. He's kind of bladed. Yeah, he's kind of bladed. It's not quite as big as I thought. You know how sometimes you think they're bigger, but Happens. he's a good deer. That's right. He's, oh, thank you. Whew, rest in peace, buddy. Rest in peace, dude. Okay, you think us girls can drag him out of here? Oh yeah. <laughs> and besides, you have one more tag, so. Yeah, I have another tag, so now I can get a huge one. At least I found him, I'm so happy. This is the end of the first day of Nebraska, opening day, and we both scored. Alyssa scored a little better than me, but that's okay. <laughs> I think we misjudged a little bit on this guy, but I'm still happy, it was great. I. I was really worried because we couldn't find him, finally found him, so I'm just happy for that. And Mad Dog, she, she grunted in uh, some big ones, or a big one for Daddy, right? But he never came out of the brush, so maybe she'll be able to do that again tomorrow, and they'll score tomorrow, and Alyssa, whoo baby, she did good. Good morning. I missed one at first, and I was really upset about that, but this helped me get over it. This is an amazing, amazing place. So. We're pretty happy. We can't wait to get back out here tomorrow morning.
Mad Dog can't wait for two more years till she can hunt for herself. For now, she just has to call him in for dad, huh? Yep. You can get one in Oklahoma, though. Yeah, she's heading to Oklahoma in a, in a week, so she can get one there, right? Okay. Good first day. Yeah. This week we're in Nebraska hunting giant white tails and little Ew. Oh, that was fun. This week we're in Nebraska hunting what? Wild. I was going to say wild white tails. This week we're in Nebraska hunting wild. Why do I want to say wild? 